Again, I, I reiterate that I thank Solar Quarter for giving us uh, this opportunity. And uh, I'd like to start uh, uh, from the fact that during the last 18 months uh, and following the acquisition of ABB Solar Inverters business, we at FEMER were super busy, super busy renovating the entire product portfolio, starting from introducing uh, uh, residential inverters that are now energy storage ready to, uh, I would say, uh, upgrading the CNI portfolio in the, in the low power and medium power CNI power spectrums and down to introducing a whole new disruptive utility scale portfolio that somehow forms the first string slash central trade-off solution that was brought to the market, uh, which combines all of the, the, the advantages of the set forms in a very innovative solution that is uh, also aggressively priced. Uh, I'd like to emphasize that this time, while coming up with the new solutions to the market, our research and development team have not only focused on introducing uh, products that basically fits for the market and, and that is within the market price range. But what I can also say is that they took this one step further by adding every possible innovation and and uh, I would say quality assurance to the new pro portfolio that that uh, I mentioned in attempt of becoming uh, trendsetters in in the solar inverters industry again. So uh, having all of that said, uh, I think that I can easily say that our major goal for the year 2022 is to ramp up the, the uh, production of the interesting, if I may say, portfolio that was launched in year 2021 uh, to the market and make that commercially available to the entire uh, world. Sure, that's great to hear, Hazard. Uh, my second question would be, uh, do you want to highlight any new developments or any new product uh, uh, announcements by using our channel? Uh, at the time being, what I can say is that uh, the last portion of the portfolio that is pending update is our large power CNI inverters. And speaking of that market segment, I know that we are currently working on introducing a uh, an equally disruptive uh, CNI uh, inverter that that covers the, the the 75 to 125 kilowatt power range. Uh, however, I think that we would have more solid information on this final adjustment to our portfolio by by I would say mid Q2 to uh, late uh, or I would say beginning of of the third quarter of this year. Great, that's great to hear. Is yeah. that uh, anything else that you want to highlight? Anything that I've missed out on asking? Uh, I think that uh, what I also wanted to highlight that in, in the Middle East, Africa region entirely, we're having something uh, around 2.5 to 3 gigawatt of installations that are mainly concentrated in Jordan, in South Africa, and some is in, in UAE. Our plan for, for the coming, uh, I would say, months and year is to uh, uh, slowly propagate outside the said countries into the entire Middle East Africa region. And this comes with a very, uh, I would say, hard to manage exercise because uh, we're talking about 20 or, two, two, or, or not even more. We're talking about 40 plus countries that we have to penetrate. And we all, we're, we're now st starting to sense the, the solar, uh, I would say, interest from all of those countries. And, and I think that there is so much to be done in the entire region. So uh, we'd like to capitalize on our current installed base and grow that by penetrating other markets. That's great. That's great. So uh, that's about it from my end. And